Hi everyone, I hope you are well. Well, 12 days with no rain, it's unbelievable. Just wanted to give you a quick course update. Overall, we are very pleased with how both courses are shaping up. The new course is, is well ahead of the old course. I think the old course is probably three or four weeks behind, but it's gonna be catching up very, very quickly. Now, one of the reasons why they're just a little bit slow out of the traps uh, after this winter is that it is so cold. Oh my God, it is so cold. This morning, uh, this was Thursday, so this was between yesterday, the ground temperature that the guys have been taking every day was one degree. Now, to make grass grow, it's gotta be at least 10. So we've got a little way to go. The little bit of warm weather we did have when we first opened, I think the ground temperature got up to 7.6 at one stage. So even then, when it was quite warm, the ground temperature was still very, very cold. But uh, the conditions are okay for this time of year. You know, it's not where we really, really want it, but it's not far away at all. Now, obviously trolleys were back this, uh, this week. Uh, I know buggies probably should be out here, and yeah, it's, it is dry enough, even after 12 days, it's very, very dry out here. Uh, but those frosts in the morning have absolutely killed it. You know, even with the trolleys, uh, some people have been taking their trolleys so close to the green, it is unbelievable. And yeah, it causes a very nasty black stain that doesn't go away. So we're keeping buggies off just for a little bit longer, uh, but it won't be very long before they're allowed to roam across both courses. Now, over to Ian with some more news. Thanks, Paul. So I wanted to spend a little bit of time today talking to you about general play cards. With the new World Handicapping System introduced, we've tried to encourage our members to submit as many of these cards as possible as doing so will provide you with a handicap index that best reflects your playing ability. However, much like competition play, there are some minimum requirements in order for your score to be approved. So we felt this provided us with a good opportunity to educate our members and outline these minimum standards. So the first thing I wanna make really clear is that you must register for your general play card before you've stepped foot on the golf course and hit your first tee shot. You can't go out there, play your 18 holes, decide that you like your score, and then enter it afterwards. You must register before you play. Let's take a look at what information is required on the scorecard itself. And here is an example for you. Firstly, we need the name of the player, and we need the full name. You'd be surprised the amount of scorecards that get submitted with either no name or a simple name like Dave. And believe it or not, we've got many Daves at the club. So for us to be able to cross-reference the score, we need the full name. We need the name of the competition. So in this case, we've put general play. We need the date in which you played. We need your handicap index on the card. We need you to circle the tees that you played from for your round. We expect one scorecard per competitor not multiple scores and names on one scorecard. And in addition to this, we expect a fellow player to mark your score along with the marker's signature in the bottom left-hand corner of the card. Once you've finished your round, what we then require is all players to correctly input their scores into the app. Following this, take a picture of your scorecard, socially distanced, of course. Equally, if you're playing with a fellow competitor who is also doing a general play, you can actually take a picture of the score that you're marking and the app will ask who you're uploading for. Either way is fine. Once this picture is uploaded, you can then submit and finalize your round. Failure to do any of these steps moving forward may result in your general play card being deleted. Now we appreciate with WHS being introduced, we're going through a transition period. Many of you are a little bit unaware of what the protocols are. Hopefully this outlines them for you in a little bit more detail, but of course we're here to support you. Now, if any of you have any questions, the best thing to do is email us whs at essendoncc.com and someone will come back to you. I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about competitions that we've got coming up over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully some of you have seen the email that came out to you yesterday along with the accompanying video. And it's really exciting. We've got some developments within the Thursday Night Cup and we're really proud to partner with Echo Golf. This is gonna offer way more value to our members and it's sizing up to be a brilliant competition for the year ahead. 
Entry to this will open the week before, so Thursday at 10 a.m. So be sure to get yourself locked in. It's a great social event for our members. On top of this, our first Order of Merit Major takes place in a little over a week. It's the 25th of April and entry for this is still open. Just to make everyone aware, our majors open two weeks before on the Saturday at 10 a.m. So be sure to get yourself locked in for what is sizing up to be an awesome Order of Merit schedule for this year. That's all from me, over to you, Laura. Thanks, Ian. I'm over at our new seating area outside Molly and I just wanted to talk through a few things about how food and beverage is working here at the moment. So number one in our new seating area, when you take a seat in line with government regulations, we need to keep your details. So the easiest way to do that is by using the laminated card that you'll find on the table. On one side, it's got the NHS app code, which you can scan if you've got the app. And if you don't, on the reverse, we've got our own QR code. If you scan that, enter your details. Next time you come, just need to scan that again and you won't need to re-enter anything. It will just remember it for you. So that's nice and easy. But if you need help, we're around to give you a hand. Number two, when you take a seat, again, all ordering is required to be done at the table. And that's nice and easy using the IG member app. So all the food and drink that we sell through Molly, including the beers, um, is all on the app. And you can just simply go in, click the um, knife and spoon, enter what you'd like, uh, and then make sure you put your table number in and send it through to us and it comes through immediately. And we'll come running over with your tray and all your drinks. Uh, so again, nice and simple. <laughs> number three and lastly, we ask this, that you don't move any of the tables um, and you don't sit more than six in a group at the moment. That's just to make sure that we're within the government guidelines um, and everyone stays safe and well. So finally, hope to see you soon. Come and join us, come and sit down at Molly. Thanks guys. Well, that's it for this week. I'm going inside to warm up and have a cup of tea. It is freezing. See you soon.